What is up to all my creative friends out there in the world? Charlie Pang is here. Today, I thought I would try out Affinity Designer on my new iPad Pro. This isn't gonna be a full in-depth review of Affinity Designer because I've only used it a few times on my MacBook Pro. I've actually really never used it on my iPad. I pulled it up maybe once and that's it. So this is the first time I'm actually trying to draw something on it. So again, this is just my first impressions. So if you want a full review, I'm sure there's plenty of them out there. The one thing I really love about Affinity Designer is the fact that it's vector and pixel all in one pro. Program. So you basically get the best of both Photoshop and Illustrator in one program. So if you're waiting for Photoshop to come in 2019, you might want to consider checking this out. It might be a good option for you, but maybe not. If you're somebody like me that's used nothing but Adobe programs, you might find it kind of hard to transition. And I definitely felt that when I was trying out the desktop version, it just didn't feel as good as Photoshop or Illustrator. So anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on now. So I have Affinity Designer pulled up here. I'm just going to draw something real quick and then see if I like it. So let's add a new layer here we will do a pixel layer. See right away you get the option to add a vector layer or a pixel layer. I'm just gonna go for pixel because I'm planning on drawing something right now. And then what I wanna do is go to my brushes. Everything seems pretty easy to find. Now I've already tested this program out just for a little bit before I started this video so I am familiar with some of the brushes. I'm gonna use this natural pencil brush right here and I'm just gonna draw some mountains real quick and we're gonna make the lines pretty thick. So I'm gonna go like 40 here. And again we're not drawing any masterpiece here, right? I'm just testing it out to see if it works for me. So I lowered my brush size actually, and now I wanna to try to draw a mountain. Nothing too fancy or anything like that, just to see what it looks like and how it functions, just like that. And then we're gonna add some shading to this and everything too, because it doesn't look very good right now. One thing I did notice about this app is that it definitely lays down ink a lot different than I'm used to. I feel like Procreate's a little bit more accurate and the ink feels more natural. This ink just looks weird in my opinion. I don't know how to explain it. When you're when you're laying down your, your lines, it just seems like it's kind of blurry in a way. It's not very sharp and that could be because of the brush I'm using. Now this is a, a 4B pencil brush and I have a similar brush in Procreate and I actually like it better in Procreate, it feels better. But again, that's just my initial thoughts. So I'm just kind of giving you guys my thoughts as they come. It's not something that's gonna bug me and I can definitely still use this. So not a huge deal. Anyway, now what I wanna do is um, let's test out this lasso tool and see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and make a selection right here because I want to add some shading. The reason why I'm using the lasso tool is so I can select a certain area to apply my texture to because I don't want it to go outside of this area, if that makes sense. So anyway, I, I'm going to use this finest spray dense brush. So I'm just brushing over this area and I'm going to make it a little darker in this corner and really dark up here. So we're going to go really, really dark up here and really, really dark right here. And then what I want to do is deselect this. So as you can see, we already have some pretty cool shading going on, right? And we're gonna do the same thing for this other area on the right side. So I'm gonna go here, lasso again, and I'm just gonna select this area, and only that area, just like this. And I'm gonna go back to my brush and just kind of paint some of that texture in softly. And then um, we're gonna deselect that. And as you can see, we already have this like cool little mountain going, right? And we're just gonna keep doing this. So I actually don't know how to deselect yet. I'm sure I can figure that out. But what I'm doing is I'm going back to the lasso tool and I'm having to just tap the uh, canvas once and that's deselecting for me, which is kind of weird, but it's probably just because I don't know how to do it. So I'll have to figure that out. But um, so far it's not bad. I really like the program and it functions smoothly. And I think that's really important, especially if you're a professional in the industry and you need to get stuff done and you don't have time to wait for a laggy app, I think this is a great app. What sets this app apart from other apps is the fact that I can switch to Vector whenever I want and I can finish uh, everything I need to do in one program. And I think that's very beneficial, again, for professionals. So if you're a professional and you need to get stuff done fast, this really is the only app you need. Honestly, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using it. Um, but anyway, what I wanna do now to finish this off is I wanna go to a different brush and make some trees. So I'm gonna go to my layers add a new layer. All right, so I have my brush selected. Now I wanna make a tree on this right side. So I'm gonna lower my brush size real quick to about, let's say 18, 19, whatever. And then I'm just gonna draw a tree right here real quick. I noticed that, I don't know, it feels weird. It doesn't have a lot of pressure sensitivity. Let me try selecting this and see if that works. Okay, so that did work. I noticed that my pressure sensitivity wasn't working on my Apple Pencil, and it's because I didn't have this little um, icon checked on the bottom right. And what that was doing is it wasn't allowing my pencil to actually work with the program. I know it's a little weird, but once you select that little icon on the bottom right, you can see like a circles and a little pencil hitting the center of the circles. That's basically allowing you to use pen pressure. So I selected that and now I don't have any issues, but that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to use your pen pressure. Um, it's not gonna work right away. Now that I have that working, I'm gonna draw a tree real quick. And this is gonna be the last little tree I draw. So I'm gonna lower the size again, just a little bit. We're gonna start drawing the branches of it. Just nothing to it. I'm just really quickly doing this. 
There's my quick tree. So um, overall, I really like the app. Honestly, I'm not complaining at all. I think this is a great app. Not only is it really cheap to buy the app, I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's around that price. Um, but for 50 bucks, you're getting a vector and raster based program all in one. It's all inclusive. So. It's incredible and I have no complaints and it runs super smooth on the iPad Pro. Honestly, I wouldn't even wait for Photoshop to come out to pick this thing up. It's totally worth the money and you get lifetime access to it and it, they'll update it for you and everything for that one price. So this is a non-biased opinion. This is me trying it out and I actually don't even like the desktop app that much. So this is coming from somebody that's like not a huge fan of the desktop app. But for the iPad, I'm a huge fan of Affinity Designer and I'm gonna be using it with Procreate. So I might even switch to it, we'll see. But anyway, those are my first impressions. It's very very similar to Photoshop and Illustrator. So if you already use those programs and you're looking for a good iPad Pro app, definitely check this one out. There's gonna be a lot of familiar tools and there's gonna be some stuff that's not so familiar, but it just takes practice, you'll get it down. If you guys like my channel and you wanna see more videos, make sure you are subscribed. And also I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this app in the comment section below. I reply to everybody um, pretty much, so I would love to hear from you guys. Anyway, guys, keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace.